Hello everybody in PAS land. This is uh, more videos on the Dagomba Rhythms for Drum Set examples. And what I have with me now is the Lunga, the talking drum. Let me move my gong gong a bit out of the side here. It's doing a drum roll. Uh, and it's a rather long talking drum, not like the small Nigerian size you might be more familiar with. This one has very deep and low tones. And it's more than I can actually get into ex explaining the history and the nature and the power of this particular drum. My teacher is a grand master uh, of the Lunga, lead Lunga. And except to say that I do not know Dagbani, the language that is represented on the drum. I do not know Dagbani history, Dagomba history, uh, and culture and all the traditions. So needless to say, I will never rise to the level of a lead Lunga uh, master to that context. I can play sounds, I can get some grooves happening, and I can certainly do support. Um, but that, that's the highest level of language on the drum is, is insurmountable um, for anybody not really born in the tradition. And that's, that can be said without conviction, with complete conviction on that, because that's just the way it is. So, but needless to say, a lot of examples can be played, the support rhythms, the answer lunga phrases. And you can see that the drum is strapped around my shoulder. I'm using a winter scarf to secure it. Very up high, close under the drum, so that you form a loop all the way around your arm. And I'm grabbing about three or four strands of, of the antelope strap underneath, and I'm using my hand to lever it to pull the straps to create the, the three discernible, discernible pitches. I'm going to find the notes first. Every lunga is a different size. Every one of them is going to have a different voice. The two behind me are smaller, and they might be used for more of the soloing, the lead lunga to be a little higher in pitch um, to rise above the fray. So we have syllables, dan, D-A-N, dan, dan, din, dan, dan. So you got the root to the minor third, to the fourth, and back down. But the, the lunga player is creating all kinds of slides in between. So it's not fixed pitches. It can be, but a lot of the time it's all about the nuance the in-betweens that are very, uh, very specific to the language. And that's why the drum very much mat matches and mimics the sound of the Dagbani language. It's a very nasal language, and people can actually identify on the drum what's being said. Um, and the role of the Li Lunga is to basically be able to play all the names of the chiefs throughout all of the history, all the drumming chiefs, in order. So that's uh, part of the, the expectations, is not just to play good sounds, but to actually know the history and the chronology and to get it right in the, the um, kind of the history context of the drumming. So, we did a couple of other examples. Uh, the damba, I'm not gonna demonstrate, it has a different rhythm on the off beats, but the, uh, the interesting one, the, the tanchali gong and the nindan yuli, which I put to the cymbal, those are dan, 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 this is dan, 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 dan. Excuse me, so. So it's only one beat cell, but it'll keep you very busy. Because remember, it's not it's not a shuffle. It's one and two and then then. That's what I put to the symbol pattern in the uh, previous exa examples. Uh, later on, well, let's say what we're, what we're heading towards is basically revisiting the Takai suite, but now talking about Takai proper, the very first of the Takai rhythms. And this one is fascinating because you'll have grooves in binary and ternary happening simultaneously. The gong gong in particular has a whole slew of variations, uh, and I'm not really adapting those for this article because I thought it would be, it's time to adapt some of the talking drum. And that's gonna be adapted to the toms of the drum. So floor tom, middle tom, high tom and uh, other attributes that we're going to talk about. So uh, with the cymbal trying to play actually the rhythm of the answer lunga. Now the answer lunga for Takai is pretty straightforward. This is the cymbal pattern. It's like this. Dan, dan, din, dan, 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 din, dan. I'm doing a half note with the beat. Dan, dan, din, dan, a one, two, three. Dan, dan, din, dan, dan, dan. So that's the rhythm that we all latch on to, especially when you're not 
born in the blood of the tradition and you're trying to find the groove. I latch on to that, and I'm not alone, to that answer Luna rhythm because it is hitting the beat with that sort of quirky triplet. Very liquidy feel. So. It's a very in between that fourth beat, which is something we'll talk about for the drum set side. Now, on the drum, that's going to be adapted to the cymbal. So that's sort of our anchor for the most part with the bass drum laying down the half note. It's the we can playing the lead lunga variation on the toms that's going to be the most challenging and daunting. So the rhythm to the beat is so you can see it's on all the offbeats. It's flipping right away. The tendency is one to hear this rhythm like this, like a pickup. No, that is completely the wrong way to hear it. It's, and you're not alone in wanting to feel it that way. So when you combine the two parts, this would be the lead lunga. And the answer lunga. So you get this kind of rapid fire tennis ball match, more like a ping pong ball match, actually. It's really fast going on between the two. And rhythmically, we have. Then the lead lunga on the one would be. All of that just between the answer lunga and the lead lunga. A lot of rapid fire back and forth. You will definitely want to visit the website to see how this is done. Now, the, uh, the lunga by itself, uh, this is what begins the rhythm. And this is the hardest part because you're immediately flipped in your hearing. So I'll be the first to admit that when Dolson Alhaji begins the rhythm like that, I'm like already flipped and I'm waiting for the Lunga players, because I'll probably be on Gung Gong, frankly, to find their pattern. And once I hear that, then I can reorientate my ears and thinking and find where it goes. And if I'm on Gung Gong and there's not a strong Lunga player uh, and I'm expected to jump into my lead parts right away, I'm, I'm kind of in trouble. And Al-Haji, don't bless his heart, he kind of looks at me and gives me that look of, why? What's wrong? Um, so gravity is a very prominent and important attribute in, uh, in the rhythmic structures of these patterns and how we orient ourselves and this cognitive perception of where beats are and where they fall. So this one in particular is, is quite beautiful with its offbeat engine taking place. And on drum set, uh, it will be equally more challenging because we're going to try to bring out the rhythm of the lunga on cymbal um, in various shapes. So that said, uh, that's a little bit on the lead lunga and answer lunga for Takai proper, the first of the Takai suite. Very important rhythm, historically important. Tells a great story of how they resolved a war and a battle and created a dance um, to really bring out the beauty of this particular phrase. Okay, so that's a little bit of lunga. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, I think uh, we'll go right to drum set actually on these. So let's see how that feels and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. I'm going to try to make this feel right with all the examples for the Takai rhythm coming into play, going from variation one to two to three, and try to feel that lilt and try to keep an eye on my bass drum, which has a tendency want to want to move. So uh, uh, here we go. The whole thing from the beginning. <laughs>
but uh, work on that one and see if you can step inside it, and perhaps a little better than I did. Uh, but uh, we're human after all, and we try to find a way to feel, make it feel cool. But this offbeat timing and awareness is very profound, and I do a lot of adapting of melodies onto the toms, and that's going to be something that we'll look at later on in one of my compositions. So a little bit of Takai on drum set. Hope that was clear, and thanks a lot. Listen to the traditional examples, and that'll give you a sense of where this is all coming from. Talk to you soon for another rhythm.